A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations. We come back to another video. Baba is back. I took a little break, one and a half months, because after the advent calendar, well, I needed to calm down the time a little bit. And now, I'm teaching linear algebra once again in 11th grade, and I already figured everything out. And when they do just Gaussian elimination with matrices, which is actually not taught in Germany anymore, um, in 95% of all places, I'm one of these places because I just want. It's way easier, way more nice to deal with. Um, I sit around most of the time and wait for them to complete their exercises. And instead of just sitting around like a lazy ass, what I'm doing is I'm designing very, very rich and thick exercises, like solving this system of equations right here. And the trained eye might already see where this is going a tiny little bit. And I hope you are going to enjoy the video. Try it out for yourself before watching the video. By the way, this video has been sponsored by the wonderful people over on Brilliant, if you have noticed already. More information at the end of the video. I'm not wearing this because they are paying me extra or anything of that sort. I'm wearing it because they send all of their creators a nice little gift on Christmas, including this sweater right here and also a cup and some socks and the like. They are just wonderful people and you should check out what they have to offer. Wait for the end of the video. I love Brian, I love their content and I just love to present them here on the channel because they seriously bring something of value to the STEM community. And now we are going to dive right in. Now I'm going to show you how I'm teaching my students how to solve three by three matrices and systems of equations. And we are going to go through the very same process. So the first thing I'm telling them is that we want to get this first part right here this first column on the um, number which is the, the least common multiple. The least common multiple, I'm terribly sorry. So all of those need to have the least common multiple in the first column, but to get our calculations a bit easier and to just a bit more manageable, um, what we are going to do is we are going to take the conjugates here, so the additive inverses. So what we are going to do what is the least common multiple of those? Well, one that is just trivial, but three and 23 multiplied together, obviously. So we are going to multiply the first row by 23, the second row by negative three, because we want to get the additive inverse. And the other one, the last one by three times 23 is, oh, 69. That is very nice. How come that this is um, part <laughs> of the matrix? Now, if we go ahead and do this, what we are going to end up with is a bit of mental calculation. So we got 69 here, negative 69. We got negative 69. Let's do the easier one. So we got negative 69 here and negative 69 here. What we also get is 23 times 15. This is 300, 345. It's getting a bit messy here. 3 times 23, oh, this is 69, which is very nice. 0 is trivial, so 0 and 0. Now, no, 0 is going to be over here. Now we are going to get a positive number here. Um, 3 times 25 is 75. So we got 69 times 4, but with a negative sign. So this is 240, 276. At least I do hope so. And the last one that we got here, 3 times 117, but with a negative at the front, it's going to be 51, 351. Okay, now this turned into a mess quite quickly, but we got some nice numbers in here, you have to admit that. So we got a lot of 69s going on here, um, which is very nice. Now the next thing that we are going to do, or which I tell my students to do, is to add, so just use ad addition of the rows, the first row to the other rows that we got right here. So the first row onto the second row and uh, first row onto the third row. Meaning what we're going to do, this is why it's called Gaussian elimination, we are going to eliminate the first entries of the second and uh, um, third row. So we are going to get, and I'm going to trace everything back to the original one after this step because, well, we can just divide by 23 and then we are going to be 
um, at the start once again. So we got three, 15, three, zero. Obviously, I would love to keep it in dead form right here, but for now, this is just going to make a whole lot of messy um, stuff uh, with, with the matrix. So we get zero and zero here. And then we got 345 plus 75. This is 415 plus five. For 20, man, this is so damn nice. So um, we got 345 minus 276. So this makes, um, if we add 300 to it, we are going to get 24. 24 plus 45 is 69. Oh, this is so nice. Who came up with this matrix? This is amazing. And then we are going to get uh, 69 here, which is also very nice. And then 69 minus 69 is zero here. And then we are going to get just those numbers, negative 351 and negative 69. Okay, that's far, that's good. We already came pretty far with that. So the next thing that we normally want to do is we want to have um, overall, or the main goal is to get the unit matrix here with one, one, one on the main diagonal. But we can do this right now, obviously, because we have a zero here. So what I tell my students is, well, what you can just do is you can switch columns, for example. But we are not going to go this way. This was just me a mess. What we are rather going to do is we are going to try to eliminate the 420 that we get up here, because um, then we are going to be left with just an entry here, which we can turn into one and an answer to this entry here. So to the Z value, basically. So we need to get to 420 here. And this is kind of a mess with 69 and 420 just getting the least common multiple. So we need to, or we would need to, since this is divisible by three, multiply this by 23 and this by something, something. I have no idea right now. So rather what we are going to do is we are going to divide by 69 here. And then we are going to multiply the whole thing with 420, obviously. Um, we are going to divide by 69 and we are going to multiply by 420 or the conjugate of, of that, so the additive inverse. Um, and yeah, by using this fraction right here, multiplying by it, we are going to get a 420 here. So meaning we are going to end up with our matrix 3, 15, 3, and then the 0 here, naught, 0, 0, 420. We are going to get negative 420. We are going to get 69, negative 351. And also what we are going to get is um, a zero here and a positive 420 over here. Okay, this is very nice. And now we are going to add the third row onto the second one, giving us overall now the matrix, the upper one is going to stay how it is. Now this one right here, we are going to get zero, zero. We are going to get um, 420, which is going to be eliminated. So to zero, zero plus 69 is just going to stay 69. And we get 420 minus 351, um, uh, which is going to, oh, how much is missing from 351 to 420? Well, obviously 69, what else could it be? So we're going to get a nice 69 here and also we can divide by 420 here or negative 420 overall, giving us one and negative one here. So yeah, this turned out very nicely. Now, the last thing that we need to do is we need to eliminate the 15 right here and the three that we got right here. So what we can do, uh, we can use the second row to uh, eliminate our three up here. How can we get to a three here? Dividing both sides by 23 or the additive inverse of that dividing the whole thing by negative 23. And right here we can multiply by 15 or yeah, negative 15, just to do our addition a bit easier. Um, overall, what we're going to end up with is three, zero, zero. We are going to get zero. We are going to get um, negative three. Here we have a negative three. We got 15, we got three, we got zero, blah, 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 and so on, yada, yada, yada negative 15, zero and 15. And now we can add the second one to that and the third one to that. And what we are going to end up with is the 15 and the three is gonna be eliminated. We are going to add 
negative 3 up here and we are also going to add 15 to that whole thing giving us a 12 overall meaning we are going to end up with not the unit matrix if we then divide by all the factors which are left like the negative 3 here so tracing it back to this part 1 and 1 and 1 and negative 1 we are going to get kind of just a unit matrix with the columns switch overall what we are going to end up with is we are going to get 3, 0, 0, then we are going to get a 0, we are going to get a 1 here, a 0 here, we are going to get a 1, here's a 1, here's a negative 1, here we get a 12, those are going to be eliminated. And the last thing we are going to do is we are going to divide this part here by 3, giving us overall 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 4, one negative one which is going to be our solution so the so-called Lösungsmenge. it's the set of solutions it's going to be here for one and a negative one and sadly with those nice entries this right here is, is kind of my masterpiece but i still need to twerk it a tiny little bit maybe you get some constructive criticism in the comments and um, originally i ran out of time it took me about i don't know 50 minutes or something to go through all the calculations, the, the abstract ones. Um, I wanted to originally get on all, all of these entries, kind of 69s and 420s on each and every step that the students go through. But I didn't succeed with, for example, the 15 up here. And what I also wanted to get, obviously, is a 420 here, but I just couldn't get around with the algebra in, in time to make it work. So maybe you got some suggestions. If you got a matrix or system of equation which fulfills my criteria maybe you can come up with a python script or or something so this the set of solutions for 420 and we also get like a 69 and 420 on each and every entry somehow during this process of solving then i would highly appreciate it because i'm turning my students into idiots who just focus on 69 and 420 and they always know that something in my exams is going to yield that answer for 20 or 69 in some kind of way. So yeah, um, I'm a bit predictable, but it's also fun to be a teacher from time to time. And I hope you did enjoy what you've seen today. And if you did, why not make sure to check out the contents of today's sponsor, bring into a kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel. We are already deep into 2024 and I hope you already started with fulfilling your New Year's resolutions. And maybe one of those New Year's resolutions, that's a hard word to pronounce as a German, New Year's resolutions was to learn something new on a daily basis. And if you are interested in all topics STEM, be the mathematics that we did today, physics, computer sciences, chemistry and so on and so forth, then the courses over on Brian's app and also their website might be the perfect fit for you. Brilliant is an online learning app and also website which is going to provide you with some of the best learning content that you can find out there on the internet. And at least in my humble opinion, it's the best source to learn something new on a daily basis. And in a normal case, what you do is you start off with a course of your liking. Maybe you want to learn something in linear algebra, maybe how to solve coefficient matrices. Then you go over into their linear algebra course look for the matrices section and start off with just the basics how to rewrite a regular system of equations in a matrix kind of way and how to solve it using the steps that i have introduced here tracing everything back to the unit matrix for example and between all of those steps that you are learning right now Print is not only giving you the algebra part of the whole process, no, they also show you the basics in a very visual manner. Meaning matrices, for example, 3 by 3 matrices and their sets of solutions can be interpreted as just a point where all of those three linear functions intersect, for example, or where a linear function intersects with a plane. And Brilliant is very amazing at showing you all of those graphical interpretations of problems like these and also in abstract algebra and calculus and so on in a very playful and visual manner. 
And the best way to experience it is by just trying it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Use my link at the top of the description, print.org slash mess and take a look at it for yourself. You're going to get a 30 day free trial of amazing awesomeness. You can try out the whole landscape of free and for completely free. And if you think like this could turn into a long term relationship between you and their services, then make complete use of the link and get 20% off an annual premium subscription, which is an amazing deal. They have so much to offer and they are adding so much on a regular basis. So why wait for it any longer? Check it out and support the channel this way. And even better than that, get your brain to work and learn something new on a regular basis. And this concludes today's video and I think those numbers were pretty damn nice. So many 420s and 69s and we are absolute men children over here on this channel. And we just can't stop talking about the nice and funny numbers. Ha <laughs> ha, 420 plays it. 360 no scope, 720. Kiss Papa Flemmy. And I thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. See ya. Have a fun day. Ciao.